Welcome to Historic Flashbacks. It was to be a masterpiece of engineering, a technological marvel, but ended up as one of the greatest financial disasters in aviation history. It was the Boeing 2707 supersonic transport. In the 1960s, the Boeing 2707 supersonic transport was to be the future of air travel but it turned out to be a billion dollar white elephant despite the best efforts of Boeing, the world's largest aerospace manufacturer. The story starts in January 1958 and Boeing, after a number of years of informal work, established a supersonic project office, but quickly found that because of the enormous cost of the project, it was thought to be beyond the financial capability of any private company. Despite doubts, and because Pan American World Airways ordered six Anglo-French Concords in 1963, President John F. Kennedy launched the U.S. counter to the Concorde, essentially on national pride. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA, called for tenders from the U.S. industry to build an aircraft superior to the Concorde. Boeing, Lockheed, Douglas and North American all responded. Boeing, which took a high-risk technological road with a radical swing-wing submission, won the competition in December 1966 by claiming its SST design would have seat mile costs below those of the 707. Boeing was to build two prototypes over four years at a cost of $1.44 billion in 1967 dollars, or about $35 billion today. 26 airlines took 122 delivery positions, with Pan American, Transworld Airways and Alitalia being amongst the first to fly the jet when it entered service. The Boeing design was an extraordinary gamble based almost solely on the American can-do attitude. Because the B-707 was to fly at Mach 2.7, that's 1,800 miles per hour or 2,898 kilometres an hour, it would have to be built entirely from stainless steel and titanium, materials that were thought to be difficult to work with at the time. But as work progressed, it became evident that the swing wing design was flawed, meaning that the Boeing 2707 wouldn't be able to carry a meaningful commercial payload. Also, the level of noise it produced, together with the sonic boom, were insurmountable difficulties. Boeing scrapped the swing wing in October 1968 in favour of a fixed delta wing design, but as construction proceeded with the mock-up, the aircraft ran into another obstacle, much greater than the sound barrier, the cost hurdle. Congress was now deeply worried at both the rising cost of the 2707 project and growing public disquiet, led by the famous Charles Lindbergh, over its engine noise and sonic boom. Finally, environmental concerns, led by Mr Lindbergh, and critics of government spending won the day and in March 1971, the US Senate and the House of Representatives voted to kill the project. At the time, the US investment in the Boeing 2707 was a billion in 1971 dollars. The Boeing 2707, together with the Concorde, were a watershed in the commercial aviation. It was the first time that environmental concerns sounded the death knell of a project. And Mr Lindbergh was on the board of Pan American World Airways and he was the one who advised the airline to cancel its order for six Concords as well. Thank you for joining us on Historic Flashbacks. Please leave us a like, please leave us comments and don't forget to tune in again for more on Historic Flashbacks.